Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Thomas Froelich of Work Microwave. Thomas, thank you for joining us today. So, how is the market evolving in the satellite sector and what does that mean to Work Microwave? Well, Richard, the uh, satellite market is, I think, pretty well evolving uh, these days. Um, for us in particular, we have had two highlights uh, this year we have been working on where we achieved a major breakthrough. The first one was our wideband applications where we sold the first, eventually the first commercial items of our 500 mega symbol wideband modem, uh, which is uh, state-of-the-art technology and I think we are among the first or the first to, to sell that. Second breakthrough is we won the largest contract ever in the history of more than 30 years of work microwave for uh, a communication program involving Q and V band technology and that is a real breakthrough, it is a lighthouse, it is a really a trend setting project where we are very proud of being part of it. Now work has a history of engineering innovation but now you're offering bespoke engineering services to the market. Explain a little bit more. Yes, uh, it's, it has been a quite recent idea. Indeed, I, d I don't know exactly how we came up with this idea, but very recently we asked ourselves um, what makes us unique, Work Microwave, and it is indeed a number of facts. First, we uh, master some technologies which are quite not, not, uh, not usual that one company under one roof is mastering them. This is RF engineering, where we have our more than 30 year competence. We have digital signal processing and software development, this as well, uh, under one roof, and production and testing. And we said, well, um, mass production is not our topic, but it's in the brain of our very skilled and qualified engineers. And why not making use of that and offering services um, which are quite unique in that sense? But you're not the only company offering engineering services. What gives you the edge? Yeah, so as I just started to explain, it is really the combination of both. It is the, the engineering brain we can put at the service of our customers, uh, together with the capability of not only delivering studies, papers, uh, uh, designs, we can prototype as well, we can build as well, because we got all of these competences under one roof. And this, I think, really is something unique which differentiates us from others. With regards to customers, though, who are you targeting for this service? Yeah. So, I think there are three groups of customers. There is first, uh, smaller companies who don't possess the in-depth knowledge of specific RF or digital signal processing. That's the first group. A second group is larger companies who have ideas of strategic technology involvement, evolution, but they don't have the capability to put it into a concrete design and to prototype. I think there are the big system integrators typically which have such a need or for which those, for those companies it could be really of help of offering these services. And then a the third, there is a, uh, a group of end customers or um, institutional customers who don't have the in-depth uh, capability and who need the follow-up of projects or the preparation of projects uh, through an external company and this is something we could target as well. So this new opportunity that's come about, does this mean that Work Microwave are going to have to expand? I hope so. So obviously we need to make ourselves known as a service provider, which is not the case yet. So we are renowned for our hardware, not for our services so far. So it's something we are starting to promote indeed here during IBC 2018. It's, it's a brand new initiative um, and I hope that we can expand on this. It is, uh, it is strategy, it's part of our strategy for 2019 and to follow. So, looking forward, you've got the new strategy, uh, satellite sector is evolving very quickly. Are there any immediate challenges on the horizon that you need to overcome? 
Well, for us, it's now really to, to implement uh, the commitments we have taken. I mentioned this VBAN project, which is in the air and which is for 2019, 2020, one of our key uh, challenges for, for delivery. And we are watching very carefully and need to spend some more effort on the uh, evolution of the satellite market, I think we spoke about it last time, coming up with the LEO constellations and the involvement with, towards 5G. So there is some evolution, uh, say, at the horizon concerning the classical geostationary uh, business and production range that we are offering today. And we need to accommodate and adapt our product philosophy and, and the product offering towards the, the LEO constellation. And this will be towards smaller integrated units which will be deployed. And that is for Work Microwave uh, the key challenge for the future. Not only for 2019 to come, but beyond. Thomas, thank you very much. Richard, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.